Now, the next polarization we're going to deal with is that contrast between the addict within you and the recovering part within you. So this may speak more to people who are actually in recovery and you're dealing with the, that acting out behavior. All right? So the addict part of you is, again, the part of you who wants to discharge your anxiety, your depression, your anger in self-destructive behaviors. Your recovering self is the part of you who is bought into the concept of recovery. You're probably in some sort of recovery program, you've been in treatment, you started to intervene in your addictive behavior, and you have identified the fact that once that energy gets going, if you give into it, if you give into the cravings, if you collapse into the triggers, then you're in the cycle of addiction again. Now, what recovery is about is really establishing a part of you who, with the support of your recovery plan, your recovery program, the 12 steps if you use that, a sponsor if you use that, however you have designed your own recovery program, the recovering part of you is the part of you who makes choices to reinforce that. So we're going to deal with an EFT sequence that identifies the addict within who's knocking on your door and the cho choice to instead step into the recovering self who really wants to give energy to being healthy, to being whole, to being spiritual, to being connected. <clears throat> All right, so let's begin. Even though I have this addict within me, and he or she is really kicking up her heels right now, and more than anything, I want to act out. I want to act out in that comfortable way that I know will discharge this energy. But even though I have that desire, I have a bigger desire to continue to contribute to my health. In my program, I have given birth to my recovering self. And I have developed a support system that helps me respond from that part within me. So even though I'm torn right now between the addict and the recovering self, I choose to neutralize this trigger. I choose to neutralize all these cravings. I choose to come into harmony with myself and let that wiser, recovering self within me win. So even though I'm torn right now between the addict and the part of me who has chosen recovery. I take a deep breath and I enter into a state of willingness. I choose instead to neutralize the discomfort of the addict so that I can choose to pursue the recovery to which I am committed. Now, we've set up where you are and where you want to go. So let's neutralize it, move into the possibility of change and the conviction to choose recovery. This addict within me is really strong. Right now, he or she wants to act out so badly. Really committed to just derailing me. 
This addict doesn't want to change. This addict is full of anxiety. This addict wants to act out. This addict really wants to discharge this energy and run out to my old behaviors, to these old things, those old ways that I have coped. But I choose now to take a deep breath. I choose to use all the tools that I've learned in recovery. To choose health. I'm willing to call my sponsor. I'm willing to go to a meeting. I'm willing to call a recovering buddy to use my phone list. I'm willing to turn it over to God. I'm willing to neutralize this anxiety so that I can choose my healthy self. My program can envelop this addict and make him or her feel safe. I use the tapping to take the edge off. I choose recovery instead. I am in recovery. I am recovering. I do choose life. I do succeed. I am empowered. I can cope. I choose to be in alignment with my higher power. I choose life over any of this crap. My addict within, who is so scared and lashes out, I now embrace you. I bring you to safety. I win your trust. I assure you that I can cope. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now that's a way to just move from that desire to act out addictively back to the commitment that you've established in your recovery.